Hello and welcome to another episode of Sabiagri. Today we'll be discussing PPR in goats. Now PPR is the acronym for Pest de Poti Ruminant, which is French and it means pest that affects small ruminants. Small ruminants we mean goat, sheep, um, and antelopes, you know. And this is a highly infectious virus um, disease virus that affects um, goats, causing health issues and financial challenges for farmers. The disease can lead to reduced milk yield, general lethargy, and depression among goats. Vaccination is a critical strategy to, con to counter PPR as it helps animals generate antibodies against this virus. The early detection of PPR depends on regular veterinary checkups prompt reporting of suspected cases and accurate laboratory testing. Several risk factors contribute to the spread of PPR, such as the absence of proper quarantine when introducing new animals, insufficient biosecurity measures, and specific seasonal conditions. Implementing robust biosecurity measures, strict quarantine protocols and avoiding contact with infected animals can actually mitigate the risk of PPR spreading in herds. PPR can inflict considerable um, financial damage on growth goat producers due to reduced milk production. Weight loss, decreased appetite, and reproductive difficulties are some other challenges. Consequently, a significant economic impact is felt due to treatment costs and loss of goats to the disease. Preventive measures, including regular immunization and stringent you know, biosecurity measures, are crucial to mitigate PPR's financial burden. Collaborating with scientists like animal scientists and vets and other professionals within the livestock industry for guidance on um, disease control, uh, disease prevention, and market diversification is advisable. Vaccination is the most effective strategy to prevent PPR. Goats should be vaccinated as per regional schedules and quarantined before integration with the rest of the herd. Adherence to personal hygiene such as proper hand washing and pest control are also important. Participation in disease monitoring and um, surveillance programs help to remain informed about the local PPR situation. In sum, vac vaccination is pivotal to safeguarding goats in PPR. Cooperation with veterinary professionals and the implementation of preventative methods, measures can help curb PPR prevalence. Protecting the livelihood of good farmers. You see, this this has a serious impact on protecting the livelihood of good farmers. PPR prevention and control rest on implementing these measures, these biosecurity measures and practices, including the routines of hand washing, disinfection of equipment, and the um, separation of herds. Education about PPR is actually very vital because if you don't know, you will not know. And you will, at the end of the day, you will have losses incurred in your farm. Participation in workshops, program training programs, and other educational initiatives can bolster diagnostic abilities and disease control efforts. Effective PPR monitoring can be achieved through collaborative, uh, you know, engagements with farmers, animal scientists, vets, and you know, government organizations. Actually, lawmakers can actually collaborate with vets and farmers, and when they do so, they can can gain first-hand knowledge about PPR-related issues aiding the formulation of effective laws and standards. Researchers are constantly exploring safer and cost-effective vaccines, antiviral treatments, and medications. The One Health concept, considering the health of people, animals, and the environment, 
as interconnected is an increasing popular approach to disease prevention and control. PPR significantly influences good farmers' access to international trade and consumer markets. Stringent movements, restrictions, and quarantine measures might be put in place by governments and regulatory bodies to contain PPR spread. Many countries regulate goat imports to prevent PPR introduction, which can actually affect exports if not adhered to. To maintain access to international markets, goat farmers must demonstrate evidence of disease management efforts, including vaccination and surveillance programs. Now let's look at some, um, some initiatives and some um, interesting facts from research publications. In, in 2015, FAO and um, the World Organization of Animal Health launched a global initiative to eradicate PPR by 2030. This initiative is an important effort to recognize the international impact of the disease and aims to coordinate efforts across countries and regions to combat PPR. Jones et al. in 2016 stated that PPR can have far-reaching socioeconomic impacts in regions where people rely heavily on small ruminants for their livelihoods. PPR can exacerbate poverty and undermine food security. This underscores the importance of combating the disease not just for animal health but also for human well-being and economic development. Moore et al. in 2018 stated that some research suggests that certain breeds or populations of goats may have a genetic resistance to PPR. Hence, understanding this resistance could provide new pathways for disease control and prevention. According to Thrustfield et al. in 2018, it stated that PPR does not occur in isolation and can interact with other diseases such as caprine, arthritis, encephalitis, CAE, which can exacerbate the severity and impact of a disease. So, thus, understanding these interactions is important to effective disease management. In conclusion, the farmer needs to, there has to be this collaboration with scientists, animal scientists, vets, Participation in disease surveillance programs, awareness of PPR related legislation and restrictions can uh, this can actually help farmers produce and navigate trade barriers and sustain market opportunities. I hope you've learned something new today about how to handle PPR as a farmer or as a researcher or someone who just has interest in agriculture. Until I come your way next time, you're still on Sabi Agrik.